Mark Officer here coming to you from the Perfect Stroke Putting Studio. I've got Richard Backwall here with me. Richard is a former winner on the Japanese tour as well as the Canadian tour. We'll show you now how to do a analysis on straight and breaking putts using the Perfect Stroke putting platform and the SAM projection and ball tracking system. Just make sure that that putter is flush up against that block. Yep. It's right in the center and it we're is. going to calibrate. Okay. So this is the first putt. Now, usually I won't say too much to the player when they're going about hitting their putts. So usually when I'm in the process here of capturing the data from someone, I'll be walking around having a look at front on angle as well, checking out their grip, their ball position seeing if there's anything unusual I can see in aim or stroke path. So now we're going to do an analysis on a breaking left to right putt. So we go into the SAM software and, and go into measure. Uh, we've got ball tracker and projection on. We hit start. Now we're adjusting the slope. So we've got a 1% left to right slope here. Right, and now we need to adjust the platform. So it's a 1% slope. So the platform has now moved into that 1%. We don't have to recalibrate when we're doing the braking putt. The software already knows where the putter should be aiming. So for this braking left to right putt, I've actually got a phantom cup sitting 3.2 degrees to the left of the actual hole. We know that from the SAM software that you need to aim uh, approximately three degrees to the left. So Richard, you can go ahead and hit your putt. So the task for Richard here is to just aim at that phantom cup and try and do his normal stroke. Normally I wouldn't have the SAM data projected uh, behind the hole like this. So we're hitting the sixth putt of the right to left ones. So again, it's a 1% right to left break. We need to aim 3.2 degrees outside the right edge of the hole. So we've got that fake cup sitting there. So Richard, taking a look at your SAM report on the first batch that we did, which, which was the straight putts. You've um, got the face angle aim pretty good at address. So that's very good. The stroke path direction a little bit to the left, two degrees to the left, a little bit of a come over the top move there in the, in the uh, change of direction. Impact spot, not too bad, a little bit inconsistent. Face a little bit open to the path, holding off a little bit in the forward stroke. Rise angle is probably a little a little low, could be going up a little bit more, just an ever so slight decel. Okay, uh, really good consistency there with the timing and overall very good report. So now we've got a comparison report up and this is uh, the left to right putts, seven left to right putts that you hit on the left and we've got the seven right to left putts on the right. So we can see that the face aim is a little bit more to the right, uh, a little bit more open on this one. On average, 1.9 open, 1.5 open on the right to left. So compared to the straight part, you're only 0.6 of a degree open. So um, the other big thing we see here is the consistency. So whilst you were very consistent on the straight part, now the consistency um, has dropped off with the left to right and the right to left, which probably goes to you reacting to the outcomes. So that's where we, we've got to learn to just trust that aim and not, uh, not react to where the ball goes. One of the key things you can easily uh, start doing out in the golf course is reacting to previous putts. So we've just got to get to the stage where we're, we're trusting the aim all the time, not reacting. 
Okay, so uh, stroke path direction still pretty similar there. Path at impact, right? So two degrees left. We were two degrees left on the straight one, so that's not a big deal. On the right to left, a bit of inconsistency. Okay, not too bad there. So what we're trying to do is maintain the same stroke mechanics, same aim and stroke mechanics, uh, whether or not you've got a straight or a breaking part, uh, left to right or right to left. So, um, you know, you're doing that pretty well, but I think there's just some, some issues there with your aim at address. So you're probably reacting to where the ball's going. Consistency down a little bit on the face on path on the right to left one. And you know, you, you're doing exactly the same timing here, same acceleration profile uh, on the braking putts. Um, consistency very good with the timing. And then we look at the overall summary. We can see that the technique has dropped down just a little bit uh, on the both the left to right and the right to left. But overall, it's the consistency that you're gonna to need to improve in order to uh, get better results out on the course. So Richard, what do you think of this training mode with the SAM projection system? I, I like it a lot, Mark. It's uh, getting me aimed correctly at address, and I'm just naturally swinging it down, I guess what's the correct line, the, and the path squared impact, and I'm continually, I've run about five or six or seven straight along that line into the hole. Yeah, let's see if we can do it again. We've also got audio feedback on, so if he's got that putter face more than half a degree offline, at address, it'll beep.